I didn't enter my career with an education in fashion. I didn't go to FIT. I, I just had the natural skill set. I was always into fashion, and God put me at the right place at the right time with everything that I needed around me and inside me. My journey has been about being tapped into my divine inspiration over Amen. and over again. And guess what? God was speaking to you that day. Amen. That's how I got to where I am moments like that, paying attention, taking in the energy, understanding what's happening. I didn't enter my career with an education in fashion. I didn't go to FIT. I, mm -hmm. I just had the natural skill set. I was always it. into fashion. And God put me at the right place at the right time with everything that I needed around me and inside me. Mm -hmm. And I realized that. So with me being as young as I was, I didn't worry a lot. I wasn't stressed. I didn't overthink <laughs> it. I was in it. Like, okay, let me, what, what can I do? How do I continue to grow as a fashion stylist? I didn't even think that was a career. Right. I didn't think that was a real job. My family most definitely did not think <laughs> that not. was a job. And so I had the opportunity to work along with uh, Sean Combs with Jodeci, mm -hmm. and that became a huge success because we found it important to celebrate who we were as young black people and the way we wanted right. to look and hip hop style and um, youth culture. And that was um, something that you didn't see R&B singers doing at that time. Yeah. So that was like a groundbreaking moment. Music was changing, yeah. fashion was changing. Mm -hmm. The um, project became a success and then I got the queen of hip hop soul yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right after that moment. But I've been blessed to be able to build and I love that so much to build with people when they're beginning to identify who they wanna be and how they wanna present themselves to the world as far as image. And so fast forward, um, after a career in fashion styling, I decided that it was necessary for me to give back and give back in a powerful way to my community. Mm -hmm. And to, I saw a void. I knew what it was like to um, not have the mentorship or the support or like have all the information and access and how hard it was to not to not only get into the rooms but stay in there. Mm. And so I started, I founded the Misa Hilton Fashion Academy. Yes. And so we're in our eighth year this year. Amen. Yeah, Amen. thank you. <laughs> For me, I can tell you one specific story. I went to um, Italy for a fashion show and I had on a um, custom multicolored mink shorts and like a halter top. I designed it myself. I went and I saw my same look next year <gasps> in the show. Mm. And that's just one time. Right. <laughs> but um, how does it feel? Um, if first it feels like, wow, okay, you really love my idea mm. that you stole it and took it and put it into your show or your collection. However, why wouldn't you include me in that process right. or someone that looks like me in that process? Yes. You can't just take from me and, and, and act like I don't exist, the person, the origin, the source of your inspiration. Yes. And so I, I, I would feel like there would not ever be a place for me there. Like, I, can I style that runway fashion show? Would you let me do a campaign? Yeah. yeah. No, not at that time. However, things are changing. Yes. Yeah. They are. And now that can happen, and now it does happen. You know, more and more, and I think it's gonna get better. But it, it, it felt bad. At first it feels like, oh, Flattered. you loved it, okay. But it's then confusing. the reality sets in yeah. like, yeah. but you X'd me out of the whole right. opportunity. Yeah. To not even get the credit is the part yeah. that's really offensive, right? Yes. You know, at the very least, they're gonna be like, inspired by Misa yeah. Hilton. Yeah. You're dealing with, most of the time, parents that are getting a salary and they're dealing with this amount exactly. of money. But then when you go up to 250000 500000 exactly. a million dollars, that's a different conversation. Yes, it is. How to plan from that place is different. Mm -hmm. And how many of us really have, the, have had the people around us that could guide us and show us mm -hmm. in a way that we can understand? Yeah.